In this video, I would like to talk something about Chiari-like malformation, CM, and syringomyelia, SM, in the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Chiari-like malformation, more like CM, is believed to play a major role in the cause of syringomyelia, SM, in Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. While some forms of CM are known to have other causes, this video focuses primarily upon its relationship with CM. CM is a complex skull and craniocervical junction malformation associated with a short skull that is common in some brachycephalic toy breed dogs and especially the cavalier. The brain is overcrowded in the skull and there is also overcrowding of the spinal cord in the upper neck vertebrae. In the cavalier this situation is compounded due to the cavalier having a comparatively large brain. The cavalier appears to have a brain more appropriate for a bigger dog, about the size as that of a Labrador Retriever. This disproportion causes the brain, particularly the cerebellum, to squeeze through the foramen magnum, the hole at the back of the skull in the occipital bone, partially blocking the flow of cerebrospinal fluid down the spinal cord. This both causes pain and the creation of fluid, which collects in pockets in the spinal cord, which is what SM is. CM can cause irreversible damage to the spinal cord, resulting in additional pain and other neurological disorders. SM is an extremely serious condition in which on or more of these syrinxes or syringes develop within the spinal cord near the brain. It is also known as neck scratcher's disease because one of its common signs is scratching in the air near the neck. Syringomyelia is Latin for cavity within the spinal cord. SM is rare in most breeds, but has become very widespread in Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, the Brussels Griffon and Chihuahuas. The number of diagnosed cases in Cavaliers has increased dramatically since 2000. Researchers estimated that more than 95% of Cavaliers have CM and over 50% may have SM. The severity and extent of syringomyelia also appear to get worse in each succeeding generation of Cavaliers. It is worldwide in scope and not limited to any country, breeding line or kennel, and experts report that it is believed to be inherited in the Cavalier. And what are the symptoms? CM, SM, seldom can be detected in young puppies, as symptoms of it usually are not evident before the age of six months or years later. Dogs diagnosed with CM and SM may have no outward symptoms at all. If CM affected dogs to have symptoms, they indicate pain. The most common ones are vocalization, barking, whining, moaning, particularly when being picked up under the chest or when changing position, head scratching or head rubbing or reduced activity such as a reluctance to climb stairs or jump, behavioral changes such as becoming timid, anxious or aggressive, and of course touch aversion. SM affected dogs may be asymptomatic if the syrinx is small and does not interfere with the spinal cord. Larger syrinxes those having a diameter of 4 mm or more, can damage the spinal cord and cause symptoms such as phantom scratching, 
scoliosis and weakness in the limbs. Pain is the most important clinical sign of CM. Symptoms may vary widely among different dogs, but the earliest sign often is that the dog feels a hypersensitivity in its neck area, causing in some an uncontrollable urge to scratch at its neck and shoulders. Then usually follows severe pain around its head, neck and shoulders, causing it yelp or scream. As the disease progresses, it destroys portions of the cavalier's spinal cord and is so painful that the affected dog may contort its neck and even sleep and eat only with its head held high. The dog's legs may become progressively weaker, so that walking becomes increasingly difficult for them. Some dogs deteriorate to the point of paralysis. The only accurate way of confirming diagnosis of the disease is through the use of magnetic resonance imaging. Scanning can be an extremely costly procedure. The MRI allows the veterinary neurologist to study the spine for the presence of any abnormality which might obstruct the flow of the cerebrospinal fluid. And what about treatment? Treatment options for CMSM are very limited, but first of all, it is important to distinguish SM with symptoms from SM without symptoms. As a general rule, CMSM without symptoms, asymptomatic, should not be treated with the drugs. Anticonvalescents such as gabapentin, neurotin, gabarone have been successful in some more severe cases. Then the other treatments is recommended by some veterinary uh, neurologists as dietary supplements. Drugs which reduce the production of cerebrospinal fluid, including proton pump inhibitors such as omeprazole and the diuretic furosemide and spironolactone, may be useful, but clinical data on their use and effectiveness is lacking. Carbonic antihydrase inhibitors such as acetazolamide uh, also serve to decrease the flow of cerebrospinal fluid, but their adverse side effects of abdominal pain, lethargy and weakness limit long-term use. Before the disease progressed to its severe form, the use of corticosteroids such as prednisolone or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs uh, may relieve the symptoms, but not the deterioration. Um, corticosteroids have serious side effects such as weight, gait and skin changes and harmful suppression of the immune system. Long-term use of these drugs is not advised. As a general rule, they should be reserved for a last resort, although some neurologists will start initial treatment of symptomatic dogs with a combination of an anticonvulsant such as gabapentin and non-inflammatory dose of prednisolone. Surgery to allow the cerebrospinal fluid to flow normally may be necessary to reduce the pain and deterioration. However, such surgeries are technically difficult and should be performed only by specialists. In some cases, a shunt is installed. Although surgery often is successful, it is very expensive and many dogs either have a recurrence of the disease or still show signs of pain and scratching. The most frequent reason for recurrence reportedly is the development of post-operative scar tissue. At least one neurologist has been inserting titanium mesh in an effort to prevent such scar tissue from building up. CMSM has a tendency to be more severe in each subsequent generation and with an earlier one set. Breeders should follow the SM breeding protocol. The aim of the breeding protocol is to reduce the incidence of symptomatic syringomyelia in the cavalier breed and not to create litters of puppies guaranteed not to have SM. 
the chance of producing an affected dog cannot be predicted without knowing the inheritance. <laughs>